what's going on guys I've got a video today covering the pi zero um i got hold of this about two weeks ago and i'm only just now finding the time to record um i've been using this on and off as a portable um cody device for about a week now um this is going to be in two parts this video like a mini series the first part i'm just going to show you exactly what you need to get up and running with it as a cody device so this here is the pie itself it's in a pie bowl case i bought the pie and the case together for about 11 pound 50 and i got that from pie morona um i will leave a link down below of where i bought all this stuff from um it's currently not in stock on the site but if you just keep your eye on it they are um, constantly getting stock of it from what I've noticed they get more stock more regularly than what the pie hut's been getting so yeah I'll leave a link down below for that included with the case I've got these two adapters which is a HDMI adapter and a USB adapter. They came with the case and the pie. So for 11 quid, 11 pound 50 ish, I got all that you need really. I didn't get an SD card with it. I put my own SD card in there, but yeah, that's what you get as a bundle. Separately, I bought this, which is a LAN adapter, a USB adapter, and that just connects up to the little USB adapter that's connected to the Pi. We've got a power cable. And I've also got the OSMC remote. Now, the operating system that I'm using on this Pi Zero is OSMC. Um, I have covered it previously when I've done my Pi, Raspberry Pi 2 video. I do prefer it to open elect. I think it's a lot better. Um, it's had a few updates since the last video that I covered, so I'm looking forward to covering it for you guys. The next video, I'm going to cover how well the Pi Zero works as a Kodi device using OSMC. I'll show you how well this remote works. And we'll take a look at some Kodi functions just to cover the prices again £11.50 I'll leave the proper price down below quid this was £11 as well from Amazon I'll leave a link for that and the remote I will also leave a link down below can't remember off the top of my head what the price is but I will leave it in the description so yeah, that's all that you need guys to get up and running with the Pi Zero for Coda. If um, you was to use a uh, Wi-Fi instead of a LAN connection, you could plug your Wi-Fi adapter into this as well. So it covers you for both. You can pick up Wi-Fi adapters for about between 5 and £7 for a branded one. I'd recommend picking up an Edimax. They always work very well with the Raspberry Pis. And you could also pick up a Bluetooth adapter as well if you had a Bluetooth remote or something. Or you could use a Flirk. I do have a Flirk and I will be testing it in the video with OSMC with the Logitech Harmony. But I'm just setting up here for the basics. That sums up the video guys and stay tuned for part two where I'll be covering how well it works as a Cody Media Centre. Thanks for watching.